There are many things that attract great minds and great students to a place like Penn. At the end of the day, though, I think it's the, the willingness of our faculty and our students to collaborate on research, our ability to combine the best attributes of 12 outstanding schools, and to bring them together to solve problems that require that kind of collaboration and that kind of interdisciplinary effort. That's the Penn formula. I work in the field of molecular evolution. I am currently a professor here in the biology department, but my background is actually in math. I just happened to be born at the right time where biology could benefit from mathematics. Our group is concerned with understanding how is it possible that such a simple thing like a single-celled bacteria might eventually make a complex thing like a tree or a human or, a, or even just one part of a human, like the vertebrate eye or the wing of a bird. How can something so complex arise from something so simple? Josh Plotkin is the example of a person who brings methods from one field into another field. His work with computational biology has implications in any number of fields, evolution, genetics, and Josh is that sort of electric mind that makes those connections. I came to Penn because of Josh. The way that you produce great insight and great research is by enthusiasm for the process of science itself, and that is what he has more than anyone I've ever met. Another area where we hope to expand is an interaction with viral evolution, especially influenza data. Influenza is an organism that's tremendously successful. It manages to infect a fifth of the population every year, and the virus evolves at a remarkable rate. And so we have compressed on a very short time scale a complete record of influenza evolution. This is the perfect situation for our group to really begin to make contact with empirical data, and we hopefully can be able to predict what will happen next. It's exciting to be at Penn at precisely this point in time, working at the interface of biology and mathematics. What I want to do is start a program on race, science, and society that brings together professors from all over the university to address some of the most burning issues that we're facing in a new genomic age. Penn has some of the most important and fascinating professors doing research related to this topic. Sarah Tishkoff is doing cutting-edge, path-breaking research on the genetic diversity of people on the African continent. Takufu Zuberi, the chair of sociology, who's written about the way in which social scientists misuse racial statistics. Susan Lindy, who's done work on the impact of social inequality on science and genetics. The School of Nursing also has a host of professors who are looking at social inequities that lead to health disparities. Recruiting someone like Dorothy Roberts is uh, just a wonderful, wonderful accomplishment. As fabulous as it is to have recruited Dorothy and to have her on campus today, it's exciting to anticipate what we'll have on campus three, five years from now. The groups that she's bringing together, the students that she's pulling together, will provide the nucleus of what I'm certain will be a world-leading program linking race, law, and health in powerful ways.